Um, okay, so yeah, so, so that's restore integrity of the meeting. Um, first, let me get this here. Um, there, there was a, a breakdown at my end. I was clicking on the wrong link for the last 15 minutes trying to get the meeting to go, and it really doesn't work. It's <coughs> The, the impact is huge, 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 huge. And because um, we, we are a stand for great videos and great things. And um, when we want this to be a, a really impactful experience and we want people to be inspired and here you are, you're not inspired. And it, it um, it's really, it, it really doesn't work. Um, Okay. Is that is that anything else I need to uh, say around that? Well, how about moving forward? <laughs> moving forward. We'll make sure that that the the technology is set up in advance, and we can all get on the call early. And <clears throat> so I I'll begin. The the impact on me was that I almost gave up, and having this on my calendar and and being excited about sharing with you using filmmaking techniques in your videos to increase their effectiveness is something that I'm really passionate about. So I'm just going to recreate myself to get myself back to where I was at 8.30 this morning, and that is I know you are all working on projects that are going to make a tremendous difference. And in the 21st century, we use visual storytelling so much globally, and it causes so many changes and and contributions to nonprofits and enrollment of team and deepening of something. We, we can change laws and legislation. We use moving images to tell stories that literally can transform the world. So every one of you on this call is here for a particular reason. And let's just create the intention as a group that as we work through particular examples of people who you know, put their hand up and, and want to share what they're working on with their video, let's listen for what we all want to get out of the call so that everyone leaves feeling like they are inspired by what they can do to create a video that uses powerful filmmaking techniques to meet all the requirements of a team video on that important weekend when your video is shown to people on our beloved team and then how it could be repurposed recreated on your own websites on social media so that the piece that is specific to team is replaced by something else perhaps a direct call to action or a request for funding or whatever you you want to add to the piece so that it meets your goals beyond your wildest dreams and with that in mind and with um, with Bob, who is who has Chris's name at the bottom, but Bob is going to be co-leading the call, yeah, pretending to be Chris. <clears throat> um, we we will help get you through this time between uh, now and the top of the hour, and we'll be able to do these calls again too. So so right. don't despair if there's anything missing. But let's begin by having someone who has a burning question about their video and making it a, a short film, a beautiful story that can kick us off and get us all on the, on the same page. Does anyone want to leap in first? Teresa Snyder raised her hand very yes. fast. <laughs> okay, Teresa, share with us. Well, actually, I just wanted to put in that the Team and Beyond team, who we are, is both sharing communication, collaboration, and fun. And the outcome is that we're a unified, unified body here globally. So thank you for just pressing us back to what this is all about. <laughs> and I don't know, Lydia, exactly who you are. Maybe I'm supposed to, but I don't. Okay. So that's a myth thing for me. All right. I have been on Team LA, and I'm an award-winning filmmaker. So I'm invited on these calls every once in a while to create a, a context because – for preparing videos for the weekends, you have certain requirements for team videos. But then there's this, this amazing thing that can happen where not just meeting the requirements but exceeding them can create a piece of video that is very compelling and very useful in a variety of contexts. So that's what we want to do is open up your mind about how creating a video can literally be 
a public service announcement, a great video storytelling film, you know, something that really sets your project, your game apart. Okay, great. And Lydia, I do think that we have met in the past. I completed team two in Portland. Yes. Okay, so I just wanted that relatedness for all of these other people that are on the call that may not have met you. So thank you for that. Thank you for pointing that out. Okay, who wants to go with their video? Put your hand up, wave frantically. We've got some people on the call with just audio and some with video. I saw Matt, Matt kind of went like this. Yeah, so, okay, so Matt. I'll just jump in the space that uh, I'm uh, not doing a project that I feel like would apply for video this, this quarter and video is something that's powerful. For communicating and and um, something that I want to to involve in my I just started this is my first quarter of TMLP one um, so I'm just jumping in with that and then uh, also taking notes for my girlfriend who's in the course with us um, on team and um, she has a really great project that I think might be be good for it so um, just speaking up to why I'm here and and the space I'm holding for that and Matt go. Matt mm -hmm. can I okay. also I don't want to dilute who you are. Okay, do you get that? Like you're a powerhouse. Your team Thank one you. quarter one team Houston, but you are off the chain a powerhouse. <laughs> Thanks, Teresa. No, you are. Yeah. And I know, I, I got it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want you to like dilute who you are. Okay, thank you. Right, got it, thank you. <laughs> so what's your game, Matt? Um, my game this quarter is to create a team that um, accelerate rapidly accelerates uh, my job search to have extraordinary employment. And so um, it's kind of an inward focus game to set a foundation of um, meeting my needs so that I can be a leader um, for a team uh, in an organization that I believe in and then to carry that work forward. Um, but in terms of like a community impact and that kind of thing, I'm not sure that that's the fit um, and what I would want to invest the resources in a video to communicate. But maybe, maybe I, maybe I make a video promo video of myself and that's how I get my job. I don't know. Well, okay. okay. Matt, Matt, would Thanks. you like to come on the Teresa and Amy Facebook show and be interviewed saying what it is that you're wanting in a job and like, boom, it'll be done. Sh sure. Teresa. Thank you. Thank you for that invitation. I'll, I'll take that offline. I'd love to keep this call. Yeah, no, no, no. Right. I, I got it. 34 yeah, minutes it. focused on the creation of videos. Appreciate yeah, let's focus. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have a thought about that. So I heard someone coach one of our team members so brilliantly when I was an incoming team one that I really heard this. So I can't wait to share it with you. In finding a game in the world that really works, we're looking for the way to create beyond what we usually would. So I do see a way that a video that is about your job search could actually be for other people. Hmm. So can you see that? I just kind of want to play with that for a moment. Can you see how you're accessing the employment of your dreams and creating a team around that could also be useful to other people? Absolutely. In fact, um, uh, one of my Houston team members, um, his his processes of, of generating employment um, was what what enrolled and inspired me to to jump onto team at this time. So so yeah, I could see that that's that's a major conversation nationwide, worldwide. It's like everybody's always seeking stuff, and so I could probably like include my process um, somehow and document it and make it make a cool a cool thing that would be of service to people. So, there yeah, you go. That's, that's quite possible. Thank you. There you go. I mean, think about all of your teammates and think about all of the team members globally who even in their quarter four team two games are playing for making powerful requests. Mm -hmm. And often people don't, they think they have to meet someone, stand in front of them, have the, the elevator speech or the vivid share ready to go, but mm -hmm. they don't take take the technology and the ability to communicate with video just quickly. It, it, we, we tend to think of it as the ta-da moment at the end of something. Mm. So writing the big achievement. Okay, but I can't actually create video until then. Right. Thanks for last, confirming that. Yeah. La last night I applied to speak at an international conference and I did it in a 
60 second video that I sent them. But I don't know that before team, I would have thought that that's the way to go about it. Mm -hmm. So I just invite all of us on the call to think about what Matt's doing and how to use video and our games as a way of, of doing that. And you may end up with a video that shares your victory at the end of your first quarter, or you may end up rolling your requesting through video into a larger game, depending on the organization. Give us a sense of the organization you're looking for. What's, what is your standing in the vision fulfilled? Where are you? Um, I'm open to answering that. And I'm, and I get that you're leading the call. So, I, but I have to like get something out of my space, which is that I'm feeling like this has turned into a, a like I'm becoming an example for a call that I thought was like, I had a past conception that this call was more about like uh, teaching people stuff. So I don't know if you're going to teach everyone this thing through my example, which you're doing a great job of, but I just want to make sure there wasn't some agenda that I'm like hijacking by being a focus for this. You are the center of attention, and we're okay. going to have you get used to that. Okay, great. <laughs> how, to, how to get that out of my space? By the time you're team one team leader, you're going to be really done with all that conversation. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, great. So um, I am seeking to work in, and that's part of my process, right? Like part of this is that I got clear that I've been in a swirl. I'm doing a career transition. I've been in software business development for years. And then I got into coaching and led trips to Peru to work with shamans and do some really cool stuff. And then I did some construction work with my best friend, and, you know, and yada, yada, yada. So um, part of this is to really like where I'm at right now in, in the process is to work with people who are helping me discover my purpose and what types of organizations I want to work with. So the process step I'm in right now is um, working with a friend uh, and, and my coach you know, team and some other people to go through the what color is my parachute process, uh, which is like a 40 year old training um, on how to identify the aspects of yourself um, and create basically the possibility of the type of organization, the type of team, the company, you know, the qualities that you're seeking. Um, so, you know, in looking at it now, um, what the, the aspects just the, the things that I'm going to be, you know, if I was filling out the lists of like, what are those characteristics now? I'm looking for um, a powerful team that's in communication, a, uh, a leading organization in their field that delivers products and services that I believe in, that I think make a difference in contribution to the world, um, and an organization that has significant um, margin and income to provide me with a financial foundation for a family. Um, so, you know, quality, uh, income and medical benefits. Okay, great. Now, <clears throat> let's all focus together on Matt before we go to somewhere at, someone else. And let's imagine vivid sharing as very interesting, very inspiring, and done. <laughs> okay. V-I-V-I-D. Vivid, very inspiring, very, uh, um, very interesting, and done. So what we want to know from you would be something along the lines of, if you don't mind me kind of riffing with you, uh, I want to make up in, wake up in the morning and go to an organization where I know we make a global difference every day. I'm on fire about it. We have the resources to do what we're doing so we're not constrained. And we are able to create on a daily basis the kind of change we all want to see in the world. So as, as, as soon as you can get in the realm of anything that we all can pull for beyond kind of mission statement so that we see you in that role. We'll start thinking of the organizations that we know that meet your criteria and we'll also be envisioning you in that. So, so what we want as we stand in the vision fulfilled is literally your abundant home with your family where all of your needs are met and that's the, the anchor point for you to be able to do great things in the world. And I think we can all get there with you, Matt. So, so just keep working that and then see what the visual elements are because when we're telling visual stories, we all need to think about what, is, what do I show? We want to get away from talking heads as fast as we can. They're important just to establish who's speaking, but 
we want to get into the realm of the images that move us. And a, a, a picture is worth a thousand words and a moving image can be worth 10,000 words because so much can be conveyed in even just one or two seconds of, a, a, of an image. So let, let's see if someone on the call is working with images in their video and they're not quite sure how to tell their story or what they could do to make it compelling visually. Is there someone who has that particular challenge? So I'm going to jump in here and, and I just let you know that I, I, I made you the host so you can share images if you have anything you, you want to share. Um, I don't know if you're ready to share anything at your end. Uh, um, uh, I don't have anything keyed up. I could do that for another call, but okay. let, let, let's say I, I'm, I'm remembering one of our teammates in India had a really compelling organization about uh, that related to the welfare of children and children being missing or children dying. And we talked about what would be something that would say that. And, and I remember suggesting a, an empty shoe just one child's shoe, a tiny little shoe being empty and, and, you know, on a dirt road or in a, in a setting, but just this little shoe could convey so much and, and perhaps more than even just a longer piece of talking about it. So I think we're all looking for those key images that say what we're doing and how we're doing it. And, um, Matt's challenge will be to find images that suggest that wholeness and wellness of his family and the organization thriving. Let's see who on the call has a video in production or that they have a script approved for or somebody who's just starting out and they want to, to reverse engineer a great video. We've got some people on phone as well as video. So we won't see if you're anxious to be included in the conversation. You'll need to just speak up. That's what I want is my soulmate to deliver whatever got just delivered to Matt. <laughs> so yeah, and, and then putting together the video, I would like to um, add that it is a process of writing a script and thinking of the images side by side um, that go with the script. Um, it is a certain expiration, both with your words, because we're so used to speaking that thinking of images that convey what we're thinking about is, is is, is a knack, but then again, it could be fun and playful. You know, I always inspire people to look for images that inspire them or are a part of their game that can make them, um, make them, um, you know, really show uh, what is important, you know, like, uh, you know, like, 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 let's say if you were abused as a child, you're not gonna have photos of you being abused as a child, but you're going to have come up with images that evoke images of, you know, evoke feelings of that, uh, maybe of you as a child, you know, your school photo or photos of your family and you're saying something. Um, and it's, it's a certain, the, 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 the discovery of finding things that are visually uh, jarring is, um, both, I would say both something new, but also something fun. And they go side by side and putting together a video where you're putting together um, both words and images. Yeah, I'm, I'm really present to this image um, quality um, from my experience with the wisdom course. I don't know how many of y'all are wisdom gra graduates um, from Landmark. And um, we do, in that tr course, we do collages as an access to transforming um, the um, emotional um, aspect um, or subconscious aspects of a conversation um, or a past story um, or you know, create a possibility that way. 
Um, so yeah, I'm really present to this this visual component where it's not it doesn't have to be the exact thing. It's really the thing that points to um, something that has a deeper uh, communication behind it. You know, the, the images communicate in a way um, that's very powerful. I would love to add to that. Is that okay, Lydia? Okay, oh, yeah, of course. Okay, great. Is that, you know, I've been on Team and Beyond, a part of Team and Beyond for years. And what I'm transitioning into is a television host. So I've always led the Shares Development Call for the Global Games team. And I say that because the technology of the future fulfilled or the vision fulfilled is what makes it so impactful. Like February 22nd, right, is the Anaheim weekend. So it's like the video part of it tells the story. And like, but I don't know what I'm trying to say about that. It's just like, standing in february 22nd i know what my vision is i already know what it is and it's on a red heart a red carpet host on many platforms and you know how do you get video that is enrolling and inviting for others to see that and be empowered or impacted that's what i don't know because I've always been the one writing and talking on the phone, not creating. I go into NBC, but the production team and video team, I don't ever have to worry about it. And now right. I do. Mm -hmm. So are you open to creating red carpet moments for yourself and, and, and shooting them so that you have that video and you just create it? Yes. Mm -hmm. 100%. Yeah. And the distinction is that I live in Amarillo, Texas. So what I'm doing is taking on local events because it's a little bit, you know, it's a more simple environment, but it gives me the footage. Is mm -hmm. it red carpet to the level? No, but that's okay. But it, future, but it, um, <laughs> they have red carpet in Amarillo, Texas, darling. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> and and you can roll out a nice piece of it and have a step and repeat. A step and repeat is the is the image of the organization or the entity on a backdrop, which is really easy to get from Kinkos. Okay. And you know, it's just like a big banner. And then you have people come and stand on the red carpet with you in front of that. And that's okay. a red carpet moment. And that's, that's all it ever is at film festivals, at galas. It's literally a piece of red carpet and a, you know, logos behind people. And it's called the step and repeat because people come onto it and then people call out their name and take their photographs and they move through and then the next person comes through. So you literally can create red carpet moments in Amarillo very easily. And especially if you have some really gorgeous, Cowboy boots. <laughs> yeah. And I do. Bob Hooper, Bob Hooper had to carry my luggage when I was in Anaheim last two weeks ago. That could be your brand. That could be your brand. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't have to, our dreams don't have to be uh, de deferred until some later date. We can reenact them or, or create them in their fullness much faster than we think we can sometimes. It just takes yep. that extra kind of grit to step forward and do it instead yeah. of wait, well, wait, wait, wait for it, but do it. Katerina Kazias is my media coach in LA. Eric Zulia is my, my network that I work with on um, on events and you know so i've been to la several times just this year for mm -hmm. the training yeah and now and you're saying i can create it like right here like like by next week like boom boom red carpet and a banner and a microphone and you're ready to go thank you yeah Does, that, that brings me to a question on um you know, in terms of generating a, a team or, or resources to, to do the production, um, you know, because we're distributed, we don't have like some team that's going to fly out to shoot this. Like, what are, you know, do the, I haven't gotten fully into the documents. Does it have guidelines as to like the level of, of 
video quality or, or you know, research, you know, tools and stuff. Yeah, Bob and the team have that down to a T, exactly what the audio needs to be, exactly what the video needs to be. Okay. And basically, you would be leaning into the best quality you could create anyway for all kinds yeah. of reasons, not just to comport with what team wants, but for your mm -hmm. own reasons. Um, and then the, the storytelling qualities are, you know, very, very, very important. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So that's in more in the guide docs and stuff that I it is it is read before this call. Yeah, yeah. and just like um, writing a letter or writing a paper for school, mm -hmm. done with drafts and edits. So um, to go back and forth a few times and to make sure everything is powerful and impactful, um, we we have really encouraged that. Um, the milestone for the script, first draft of the script is Tuesday. And that we just do that just so people are in the conversation early. So at the end of the, you know, when the final videos are due in January, um, you have the best, most powerful video with script and words and images and music that it's possible because we're a stand that we, that we, uh, powerfully represent and enroll people into your game, people who are on the team management leadership program or not. It doesn't matter because you're, you're getting trained in development in visual and video and script and word enrollment that uh, will move, touch, and inspire everyone in the world. Um, and that can be used on your website or your social media page or wherever. Um, and uh, that's, um, that's, that's the biggest message we want. We want people to jump off this call and inspire the ready to jump mm -hmm. forward. So, Jili Kopelovic. Hi, nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. <laughs> Share with us my your first game. Time, yeah. It's my first time in uh, some kind of this call. I'm Gili and I'm from uh, Team One, Tel Aviv. Great. Uh, uh, and actually, I'm the accountable of the media of my team. Wow. Uh, so, uh, yeah, thank you. Great. Uh, my game that I'm planning to, to roll this uh, quarter is uh, about uh, focus leaders, I call it. Mm -hmm. uh, I myself uh, was a senior manager in uh, several companies. And uh, one of the projects that I, uh, that I uh, had uh, make me a lot of pressure. And uh, pressure and a lot of stress. And actually I ended uh, at hospital and I uh, find myself with uh, Crohn's disease, if you're familiar with uh, this disease. So uh, in the same time that I was uh, uh, collaborating with a company that uh, uh, developed a brain training uh, product uh, and tried to and started to train. And after several months, several months, I uh, realized that uh, I uh, started to manage my focus. And uh, while I'm uh, focusing, it uh, even released my stress. Mm. Uh, so in the last, in the past years, I'm uh, really training to release my stress, uh, and uh, it's come and go, like everything. Uh, and this is the beginning of uh, my game in this quote, in this quarter. I really don't know what kind of video I will make with it, and what kind of image images. Uh, I really need to look it up. Uh, and definitely I will uh, start uh, writing uh, some kind of strip and tell my story. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see what's, uh, what's come up. Good, good. Well, there are a lot of good ways to show stress visually, and there are a lot of good ways to show focus. So I think you're going to have a very visual presentation. I think it will be relatively straightforward to be able to do that. Yeah, I really yeah. hope so. Yeah, we'll look forward to seeing you on other calls as you work it through.
And who who is with us? Let's see. Do we have anyone still with us on uh, telephone only? Looks like they dropped off. Okay, we want to make sure that anybody gets heard that wants to, and it's hard sometimes if they're not being seen. Mm -hmm. um, so we have a few minutes left. Let's <laughs> let's do kind of a lightning round or see if uh, in Tel Aviv you have a you have a sense of the outcome of what you want to create that we could think of as a team about how to get you the, the visuals that would work for that. Do you want to share what you think the outcome will be? And, and is your pro programming to be based in Tel Aviv or beyond that? Excuse me, I didn't hear your last question. Will your program be based in Tel Aviv or will it go beyond that? Uh, actually, I think uh, for the first step, it will be based in Tel Aviv, uh, in Israel, not just in Tel Aviv. There's a lot of organization in Tel Aviv that, uh, and a lot of manager in Tel Aviv that uh, needs to release stress and start uh, dealing with the things that really matters. Uh, and that's uh, actually for uh, not just uh, for manager or uh, business owners, it's for all, um, all mankind. Mm -hmm. uh, even if I'm uh, stressed at work, it's kind to my, ho my home and uh, to my children. Uh, and uh, this is my vision, actually, mm -hmm. to 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 implement. I, I didn't uh, maybe this is not the the actual the the right word for it, but uh, but to be yeah. able with this program with this uh, workshop, you know, it's kind of some kind of workshop. Mm -hmm. to to help me people not just in work and also in their uh, own lives because uh, we are all humans and we all take the works uh, to our home and it's really effective on our uh, environment mm -hmm. uh, and that's why what I uh, want to achieve definitely uh, actually not right. just to help the organization and to help people how to be more uh, more uh, realistic uh, at work and uh, less stressful. Uh, Is Yuiko on your team? Excuse me? Is Yuiko? Is that Yuki, her name? Yuiko is on my team, yeah. Okay, she, I think, would be a fantastic resource for you. Okay, I, I'm not uh, really... Uh, uh, familiar want, with what do, she's doing, but I. Do you want me to email you offline? I can. No, I have I a phone. What? I have a phone, and I spoke with her uh, uh, last week when we was when we were in London, and we uh, we really have a good conversation, and uh, she's on my team. So the week okay. is starting, and I definitely going to speak with her. Yeah, okay. we highlighted. Tel Aviv on the global okay. games, okay? So. What you? Excuse I, me. Sorry, but I. No, no. I'll, 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 I'll call you separate. Is that, okay. Bob, is that what you're? Yeah, yeah. Cause we're at ten minutes here, and let's. We got to be uh, wrap it up and, and kind of. You guys can figure that out offline. And, I know. And and I like to create the corridor of everyone here. And uh, we, uh, we had our first call and there's someone who's a request to leave, lead some webinars for us. So we'll have some with Lydia and some with uh, the new gentleman who wishes to lead. He's a movie producer and just wants to contribute to others. So. Um, What's uh, his name, Bob? Uh, I'd have to pull it up. I don't know. Okay, no worries. <laughs> But uh, yeah, well, definitely, we definitely have a groundswell of, of, of people interested in webinars and, web and leading them that will we'll continue this conversation and have several this quarter. Unlike past quarters, we've only had one. So, and, um, and I will, uh, and I, again, we take have responsibility for clicking on the wrong link to get the webinar going and everyone was locked out. Well. Do we have the dates for those other? No, webinars? we're creating it. Okay. okay, great. So does this time work with people and or maybe an hour earlier, like 8, 8 a.m. Pacific time? That would be great for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, by when will you have 
the dates created so we can way to go incoming team one by when yeah <laughs> so i'm gonna create a uh, a, a group chat on the people mm -hmm. who lead webinars and we'll, we'll figure out a schedule i'll include lydia and the other individuals so we'll take that up conversation and we'll have a little um that's why matt is a powerhouse <laughs> okay. yeah. All right. Well, all right. Yeah, it's creating, and we want people to just to realize that we're a stand for what they're creating. Yeah. Beyond so, our breakdown. So. Yeah. So, so Bob, I didn't get an answer to my question about by when you'll have it, and I, I'm just looking at like if we're turning in our our video content in January, then like if these calls are going to be of service to people, these webinars are going to be of service to people, like. When when are we gonna right know when they are and have time for them? Well, we have previous webinars you can view. So okay, great. That would be awesome too. Because um, okay, I'm gonna go by. What we don't want is people to wait for a webinar before they get into action. Absolutely. <laughs> totally. I like that. So we want action now and feed. Um, so anyway. So that's what we're standing for for the future. So Lydia, you got anything? Just look for images that tell your story from the very beginning as you conceptualize your game. I think it always helps to stand in the vision fulfilled. That's why in the wisdom course, those vision boards are so powerful. If you're literally standing in what video elements do I need? It will help lead you through your game. You, you know, Gili will see, oh, if I'm going to be speaking and leading and teaching this material, then I'll shoot myself doing that in front of a group of people and I'll put that in the video because that's how I see where I'm going with this. Or if I'm going to be on local news talking about this program, then I'm going to get myself in front of local news people so that we can talk about this. So, you know, you'll start in you'll start interpreting your games and what you want to create at the end in visual terms, which will then help you pull you forward in what you're creating. So you don't wait till the end to figure it out, but it will kind of create itself as you go in iterations like that. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Great. You know, you know, the brain training that I, uh, that I did was the neurofeedback uh, training. So Perfect. actually in neurofeedback, we are training our brain to, to some kind of visibility. I trained it for a focus. Yeah. So we actually see the future. Yeah, Gilly, that's so awesome. I'm actually doing neurofeedback training for focus right now myself. Wow. Yeah, it's <laughs> a small Great. one. Good yeah. job. Yeah. Good job. Fantastic. And, and, and the thing with the visual thing, you know, for I always advise people if they're stuck in writing a script, Look for a break, look for visuals that explain your game, and then maybe that will inspire you to get your words going again for writing your script. It's it's um you're unfolding a, a video on it's unfolding different avenues, different teamwork, different things all at the same time. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Thank you for the call. Thank you, Bob. Thank, Thank you, Lydia. You and we'll talk more, okay? All right. Take care. All right, Bye. everyone. All right, bye-bye.